I went to, I grew up in an urban setting with all my friends and some people that ended up moving to Montana in the middle, you know, to, some, to a, a farm and a ranch and other people moved to, you know, really, really urban, like they want to live in New York in a small apartment. The same thing's true with seniors, just because they're, they're they have age does not mean that they all want to live in the exact same environment. So I think that's the first thing is to, to realize that there are different options because we're all different people. And to think that everybody wants the same thing is just not appropriate. So um, I think that's the first thing to, to say is that like, you know, um, I think that assisted living is really good for people because it, um, it has a lot of activities and we, we found the social benefits uh, the benefits of socialization on people as they age and your health in general are just, there are so many of them. In fact, there are a number of studies that talk about um, how people who have social relationships actually bounce back from health issues faster. Uh, one of the famous ones actually based on um, a breast cancer study that showed that people, even though they were terminal, lived much longer than people who weren't in social environments because of the benefit of having people to talk to and people to, to do things with. So there's just a lot of benefits to the socialization aspect of it. And as we age, we lose a lot of our social relationships. I mean, just think about the fact that, um, you know, the time in your life. So as a kid, your, your friends were from, you know, going to school or the activities you did, like sports or whatever. Then you go and you start working and you have a lot of friends based on your work relationships. And that's where you find a lot of things. Or if you have kids, your friends, parent, your kids' parents, then you retire. And so then you have, you know, maybe you don't do something social, but as you retire, you lose a lot of your work friends because you get choose to do different things with your retirement. Um, and then when you talk about the loss of mobility, so people start losing the ability to drive. Maybe they don't want to drive long distances. Maybe they can't drive at night. That really limits how they can see their friends. Um, and people start to die. And that's just a real... A fact of aging the longer you live the more people you know who are going to pass away because people die throughout their lifespans